Hi guys, Amy here from That Teaching Spark, and I'm going to try to do a really quick tutorial on how to use this virtual learning template in your classroom. So when you get this, you're going to have to make a copy. This forces a copy and allows you to have the copy yourself. You can then manipulate and change this to whatever you want. So if you go over here, you can change the title. I might have this be week one. You can change it to whatever you need to. And then you'll notice there's a bunch of different types of templates here. Now, all the things you see on the screen are not editable. They are pictures. That's why there are so many different types here. So you will just have to choose what works for you and insert text boxes. So I've already got the one that I'm sending to my kids for next week, which is just a review of learning. So you can kind of get an idea of the different things you can put in here. So I'll show you how to very quickly mess with this so that you can add different things. So pick the template that works for you and then simply go to insert text box. I would suggest drawing the square or the rectangle around what you need and then you want your font to be a little bit smaller and then you can type in what you want. So maybe you want them to read for 20 minutes. So type in whatever you need. You can then just simply right click um, Sometimes you can simply right click and it won't let me. So I'm going to go up to um, edit, copy, edit, paste because it's being mean to me right now. Thank you a lot. And then I can just resize these and type in whatever I need. Now, if you need something down here where it's just totally blank and I don't have those titles for you, it's the same thing, um, except now you probably just want to make this bold and you probably want to pick um, a different font and you probably want to make it a little bit larger and do whatever you need to there. You can then change it to the middle or whatever else you need. So these are all here for you to change and manipulate however you want. I can show you really quick how to insert a link. Um, this is a link to an outside source. When the kids touch it or hover over it, then this is where they'll click it. It's not like a PDF or something where you can just double click on it. Um, if I click it, then it's going to pop up like this. So I'll show you how to do that really quick. So if I wanted to add um, complete freckle assignment, which if you don't know what freckle is, you need to go check it out. It has a ton of really awesome assignments there for you. And I think they've made it free for unlimited assignments. Okay, so what I'm doing is highlighting it and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to link. You'll notice it's then going to have this little thing right here. I'm going to then go up to my um, Google tabs and I'm gonna find Freckle. You can't see this right now because it's covering, but I'm going to highlight the web page and then I'm going to go back and insert the web page link. Press apply and now it looks like that. I didn't like the way that looked because it was really hard to see, so I just highlighted it again and I went to the text color and I just chose I wanted it to be black. It'll underline anything that is a link for you, so you can still do that. Now, if you're like, okay, great, thanks for all these templates, that was awesome, but I don't want to send all of that to my kids in Google, Google Classroom, then all you have to do is go and go over here to this side, select what you don't want, so I don't want any of these, and then just right-click and delete them or cut them. Now they're gone, and I don't have to worry about it. Now. A good suggestion would you might want to have made a copy of this before you do that. That way you still have those in case you want to use them later. But now I have this and I can keep um, using the same template week after week. I would recommend copying it. So to make a copy, you just go to file, make a copy, entire presentation. Then it's going to make a copy for you. Um, and you can do week two and then week three and week four and so on and so forth. Hopefully it won't be that long, but you never know. Um, and then if you want to send this to Google Classroom, all you have to do is go to your classroom. Let's see if I even have classroom on here. Yes, I do. Go to classroom, which will open sometime when it feels like it. And then you can insert this as an assignment. 
So all I'm going to do is go to my classwork. I'm going to create assignment. I'm going to title it maybe week one directions or checklist. You can type your instructions and everything that you need here. I'm going to add to my um, from my Google Drive. So it's already stored in my Google Drive for me. It should come up on your recents and then you just want to go and click on the one you want. Click add and then it would will be there for you. Now, personally, I would go over here and make a copy for each student. Otherwise, your kids are going to get on this and everybody's going to be on the same slide at the same time and they can mess with it and all that. And you don't want that to happen. Um, you can also put make a topic. So maybe I want to put a topic of week one. So it's going to show up in my stream. Um, or it's going to show up in my classwork and it'll be a little bit more organized for me. You'll see what I mean in a second. You can select which students you want to send that to if you have different classes and then just press assign. When I do that, it's going to pop up in my classwork section. So you notice um, I've got week one right down here. So this is what I mean about a topic. Um, this is like writing. This is like math. And if I want to, I can take this and move it up to the top. So I can move it up because I want that to be the first thing that they see. And that way I was able to organize um, my classwork. Now when the kids go on, this will be up there for them and they can click on it and they can see what they need to do. I hope that was helpful for you guys. And I, if you need any help, just let me know.